Hey, 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 everybody, and welcome back to more Alibi in Ashes. We are playing as Best Marvin right now, and we're in Nancy's house. But I want to do some more exploring, um, specifically the police station, because we're supposed to have dropped off this, uh, or we're supposed to get this note from the, uh, oh, a damned place. I want to go check that out. I know I'm getting easily distracted, but we got that note from the town hall, and I'm guessing we're supposed to deliver it to the police station, so... Uh, was that dancing? Hmm, okay. So we were at the Drew home, let's see. Police station, here we go. I like George's yellow car. Open it. Or Bess's yellow car, my bad. Um, wait, we can't go inside? Can't open it. What? We can't at least just walk right through the front door? I mean, I understand the police stations kind of need to be secure and all, but you'd think that you'd at least just be able to talk to the receptionist, even if you can't go back in there. Also, what's this radioactive symbol doing there? Okay, um, here we go. Package drop. Uh, can we put this here? You should call Nancy. Okay, good. So we can call Nancy, and we can tell her that we got, um, uh, the note. Were you able to find the note? Yes. Great. If you can put the note in the drop box at the police station, I'll pick it up and take over from there. How can she pick it up? She's like all locked up in the cell. Also, it's really weird to hear Nancy on the other end of the line like that. You take the lead now. I'll take it from here. Alright, so we're Nancy again. Listen, I'm just doing my job here, Nancy. But I don't see any need to keep you locked up. If you want to prove your innocence, I'm not going to stand in your way. This is a police station. Don't let me catch you messing with anything. Get me? Don't let me catch you. One more thing. We've got an evidence board in the station. We track case. If any compelling evidence were to show up regarding your case, I would consider taking a look. All right, so... Chief McGinnis lets us out, but we're still kind of stuck in the police station? I kind of want to check this out. Suspect profiles. Let's see that first. This is the case board. Track your case on it. You got enough to pin this on someone else? Push that button and give me a call. All right. It's it like been on any other suspects. Yeah. So these are all the people who were at the town hall when we ran outside. But right now we have no evidence for anyone uh, to convict them, so I guess we're going to have to pile up stuff here for, I guess, any one of these four people, and hopefully we will have enough to get us freed, right? Okay, so let's not call Chief McGinnis yet. Okay, what can we do here? Forensics? Can we go in there? We can. All right. Analyze stuff. Okay, so we need to put something in here, right? Assuming we can actually play with that. I mean, there's got to be a reason why we can zoom in on it. Um, anything else? There's a light switch. Yeah, I think that's it. So, was this the cell we were in? Looks like it. Okay, so we can call people there. I guess these are other cells, right? Makes sense. Whoa, that's some threatening music there. Lockers. Uh, oh, hey. Um, I guess these are evidence lockers. Yeah, I'm just kind of still looking around here and trying to get the hang of this place. Well, this whole game, to be honest. So, you're calling to say you lost the evidence locker key? Oh, that's some great police work there, rookie. What? I better listen in. Where'd you see it last? Pancake City. I don't recall Pancake City being part of your beat. Go find that key. I should send someone to Pancake City to find that key. Is there a lot of crime in Pancake City? <laughs> well, it's good to know you're keeping the mean streets of Pancake City free from crime. No, it doesn't make me less angry to hear you're embarrassed. Go find that key. Flip Pancake City over if you have to, but find that key. You did not just ask me if that was a pun. Do I make puns when I'm angry? No. When I'm angry, I ask 
rhetorical question and fire rookie detective. Well, it looks like we're gonna need to find that key. Also, what was a pun? I didn't catch what would have been a pun there. So let's see, is this the way out? Alright. So yeah, we can't actually leave. Okay, so I guess they got the stuff from here then, right? Alright, so we need to send someone over to Pancake City to get the key to the locker. Charles Cheeseburger Head says, Stay in shape by exercising and eating right. You are what you eat. What? Who came up with that? <laughs> that looks so weird. Pollute and get the boot. <laughs> I love all the signage here. It's awesome. Okay, so let's go back to the phone. I think we're getting the hang of this. Let's call George this time. Let's have George be on the case. What's up? I found the police investigation board. Perfect. It looks like we're on the right track so far. They've narrowed everything down to just a few suspects. Who do they suspect? Tony from over at Scoop, Alexi from the antique store, Brenda Carlton, and Deirdre. And, of course, me. Good. We'll keep an eye on all of them. That includes you. I've got my eye on you, Drew. Ooh -hoo. Thanks. And you ain't got nothing on me, because I'm innocent, see? <laughs> what was that? I need your help finding a key. All right, what's the story? I need to get into the evidence locker. Detective Ryan lost his key. I need one of you guys to find it. Sure thing. Any idea where we should look? Yes. Try checking out Pancake City. You got it. I need you to take over. George, reporting for duty. Ooh, we got a Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake wallpaper here. Let's see. I want to see what else we've got. Final scene. Okay, so we got a lot of wallpaper options. There's Secret of the Old Clock, Shadow of the Water's Edge, uh, Ransom of the Seven Ships, and Tower. What's Tower? Oh, uh, Treasure in the Royal Tower, right. I'm gonna keep it on Ransom. Uh, let's see what other uh, stuff she's got here. Monkey. Ooh. Ooh, I like that jazz. I'm gonna keep it on that. Okay, so we got more notes here about Detective Ryan and stuff. Okay, so we're in Nancy's house. That's one of the things that's kind of weird about this game is that if you are um, a character who uh, plants themselves somewhere while you switch over to someone else, that someone else won't find you at that place. At least that seems to be the case. I. Like, we didn't see George when we were over here before as Bess, so yeah. I don't know, it, it's really, it seems to be rather odd, but let's find this Pancake City. Oh, there's George's house. Hi there. Oh, it's great to see you guys. Now you keep working on that case and, oh, drop by any time. Wow, George's mom has a deep voice. Um, Fenley Place. What's Fenley Place? A farm? Okay. I'm assuming that a lot of these are Easter eggs. Oh, excuse me. A lot of these are Easter eggs if you know the books. But I'm not too familiar with the books because I didn't really read them as a kid. The schoolyard. What does that say? Schleiber? Huh. Okay, so where is... Ooh, the mall. There's the mall. So where's this Pancake City, though? Hmm. Okay. There's Harrison Park. We've been there. Town Hall, yes. There's... There's Scoop, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Ooh, Antiques. Pizza Palace. The Mahoney Anvil Company. The airports. Is there anything further down? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. So I'm assuming this is all we can go to. Oh, here we go, Pancake City. Detective Ryan, I think you 
said he was going to Mabel Roses? Oh no, don't tell me this is one of those keep following all the things people say until you finally get to the place you're supposed to go to sort of challenges. Okay, let's stop by this anvil thing. I keep hearing about this. Oh, it's just a sound effect. You'd think for such an important place in town, they would actually have more than that. Okay, uh, so Mabel Roses? What's Mabel Roses? I don't think we've seen that yet, have we? Let's try going through systematically. Here we go, Mabel Roses. They're probably going to tell us, Oh, he went over to Pizza Palace and stuff. Detective Ryan? I think he went to the antique shop. Yep, he went somewhere else. Okay. We're going on the proverbial wild goose chase here, but we've heard about this antique place, so I think it's Alexi who works there. Okay, good, we can get out. Warden Cliff Antiques. Alright. Aha, here we go. Salutations. You must be Alexi. Are you the Alexi from the old stories around here? That was a long time ago. I can't believe that's actually you. You were the original kid detective. You should advertise that, put it on your sign or something. That's not who I am now. Oh. But it's something to be proud of. Just let it go. It's my past, not yours. Okay. Did you hear about the fire? Of course. He was there. What do you know about the old town hall fire? No more than anyone else. Have you seen Detective Ryan? The 12 year old cop? Yeah, he's been here. He, he left something behind. Did he leave it behind to torment me? Possibly not. Is it tormenting me? Yes, yes it is. Can't figure the blasted thing out. It's on the new arrival shelf. See you later. Good day. Alright, so he's just gonna let us play around with the detective's things? Okay. Um, what is this? A treasure chest? Need to find a way to get Alexi to leave. Oh, we have to snoop around in that when he's gone. River Heights Gazette. A blast from the past! Alright, so this is something about some kids in the time capsule. I wonder if these are like the kids from, like, the Her Interactive employees. That'd be cool if it were. Um, yeah, nothing else here. What about here? Detective Ryan brought in something pretty strange. There's a key under there. Ooh, is this a puzzle? We get to do puzzles? Um, oh, here we go. Oh, I see. So we have to eliminate all the things. Okay, this is confusing. Well, no, 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 I didn't want to do that. So that one eliminates these three and that. Oh, so they eliminate the one across and then the two next to them. Okay. Interesting. Alright, I think I get the, the gist of this now. Alright. Oh, okay, that didn't do any good. What about this? I think this will... No, it just does that same thing. Okay, so we have to do this a little bit smarter. Alright, and then we get two now. But how are we going to get rid of these two? Uh, I think we got it. I won. All right. We got the key. I think this is what Nancy was looking for. Awesome. Okay, so we've solved the puzzle. Anything else we can do? Um, let's see. There's got to be more stuff here in this antique store. Ooh, what's this? Number punch. How fast can you press all the numbers in order from one? Okay, so Alexi likes to play this game. Okay. Oh, it's counting. Okay, well, let's let's start over. Okay. Okay, one. Uh, where's two? Two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If you can anticipate the next one and where it is, it's not so bad. Thirteen. Where's 14? 14? Where are you? Come on, 14. There you are. 15. 16. 17. 18. Um, 19. 20. 
and then 21. Where's 21? 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Okay, 29. I know you're here. That's 39, not 29. Come on, 29. There it is. 30, and then 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. All right. It looks like I won something. Oh, hey. A key? Does it say what kind of key? Evidence locker key? Trunk key. Oh, this is probably what goes into that. Oh. Anything else we can see here? Anything else? Hmm, okay. We can't look at those things. There's nothing else except Detective Ryan's little toy thing here. Uh, can we talk to Alexi about the number game? Or look at any of this? Hello. Nope. See you later. Bye. Now here's something I'm wondering. If you were to come in here as like Bess, would he have different things to say to you? Hmm, I ought to try that. Okay. Well, we certainly have the key to the locker now, so let's go back to the police station and deliver it to Nancy. And then we gotta try out uh, playing as Ned. We haven't done that yet. By the way, I've been meaning to tell you guys, I'm sorry about the conversation skips that can sometimes happen. It happens really sporadically, and I'm not sure what causes it. Alrighty, everybody, I'm sorry about that. The game completely crashed for some reason after I had dropped the key off and picked up the phone, but hopefully that will not happen again. I had to replay um, pretty much everything from the last video until this point, which thankfully didn't take too long, but I noticed a couple of things I missed, and one of them was this little tube that you could pick up in Alexi's shop right next to the number punch game. So I'll show you that here in a minute after we call Nancy. Well, actually, no, I can't because I'm about to switch back to Nancy, aren't I? Oh, well, I'll show it to you guys later. Yeah, feel that jazz. Do you Hello? do? All right. How's the investigation coming? All right. It looks like I'm going to be able to use some of the equipment around here. If I don't get caught, that is. I don't understand why they won't just let you out. I know. Because all of the evidence is stacked against me. They want a little proof that I didn't do it. Still, it doesn't seem fair. Trust me, I'm with you on that one. What was it like being in the fire? Were you scared? Absolutely. It just spread so quickly. Whoever set that fire knew what they were doing. From everything we've been hearing, you're lucky to be alive. Until we catch the arsonist, the station might actually be the safest place for me. That's a good point. It's your turn. Nancy Drew taking over. All right. Nancy Drew taking over. And let me show you guys something that I found here at the police station. I haven't actually looked at it yet. Uh, but it's on this desk over here. DK Daughters. There's no card in here. And apparently we need to put a card in that. Okay. I shouldn't use this phone. Aw, that looks like a nice phone. I need to use the public line to make a call. All right. So I guess the DK Daughters, whatever this thing is... I mean, I guess it kind of looks like a cell phone, but it also looks like a Nintendo DS or something. Anyway, um... Tell you what. Let's try uh, playing as Ned. We haven't done that yet. In fact, we haven't even talked to Ned, have we? Hello? Well, we talked to Ned earlier. I need you to take over. Ned, reporting for duty. Okay, so where are you, Ned? In fact, whoa, check out this wallpaper. It looks like it's from uh, Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. Let's see here, we got White Wolf of Icicle Creek, Danger on Deception Island, Co Creature of Kapu Cave, Secret of the Scarlet Hand, and Haunting a Castle Malloy. Uh, I'm really tempted to go with that. Ooh. That sounds kind of funny, but that rock, man, that was cool. No, rock. 
This fits Ned. I think this fits Ned really well. Okay, so what do we have here? Oh, we're in front of the antique store. And there's a van out here now. Anyone in there? Oh, it's a news van. Hello? Anybody home? Hey, it's uh, Brenda, right? Hello. Will you help us let the town know that Nancy's innocent? I'm not fully convinced that's true. Plus, that's not how things work. But she is innocent. Then why is she in jail? Because she's been framed. <laughs> I've been working the crime beat here for a while, so I can safely say that people claim they've been framed all of the time. So far, not one has been able to prove it. That's why we need your help. I do the news, not charity. Plus, this is a good story. A heroine falls from grace, a once grateful town turns its back. The final clue is found. Listen to how good that is. I don't even have to try to make the story interesting. Aren't you worried about seeing justice done? No. I'm a reporter. If people cared about seeing justice done, I'd report on it. But they don't, so I don't. Well, you're a terrible reporter. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that right now. And also, you're not helping. And also, also, isn't that like that 90s cup design here in the background on this cup? It kind of looks like it. Can you tell me what happened at the fire? Are you asking me for my statement? Yes. I already gave that to the police. I'd just like to hear it from you. We're asking everyone. Oh, good luck with that. Now, let's get to brass tacks. What's the real story with Nancy Drew? She's not guilty. It's not up to me to decide innocence or guilt. It's up to the public. Actually, it's up to the courts. Well, officially, that's true. But the court of public opinion makes its verdict before the actual courts can even schedule a hearing. Guess which one matters more? You seem really desperate to get on the trail of a hot scoop that you don't really seem to want to see fact. Were you writing a story about the fire? Writing? Yes, I was writing a story and broadcasting and webcasting and macro and micro blogging. I own this story. Yeah, I can kind of tell. Are you going to continue reporting on the fire? If I didn't, I wouldn't be doing my job. The fire is the biggest thing to happen here since old man Crowley's will was found. Good. I need your help. I need to know everything you know. In my line of work, you have to work for the answers. If you want to talk to me, you're going to have to give me some good info about Nancy. I don't like the sound of that. As my dad always used to say, What are you gonna do, cry about it? You ready to do this or what? Alright, fire away. Sure. Alright, do your worst. Who would want to see the old town hall burn down? Don't know, don't care. Has Nancy always been interested in starting fires, or is that a recent development? Actually, you didn't answer my question. So, you're reluctant to say. Probably not a recent thing, then. Tell me about Nancy's dark side. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Nancy. Okay, my turn. Wait, you didn't let me ask a question. Yes, I did. You asked me what I was talking about, and I said Nancy. Speaking of Nancy, is it true that she's been known to skirt the law when she's on a case? No. So then she just flagrantly breaks the law. Good to know. Stop. That's not what I said. I don't want to be interviewed. I just need to find out what's going on with Nancy. Okay, all right. I'll put the kid gloves back on. Everyone in this town is so shy. I'd kill for a little verbal sparring now and again. You gotta be primed and ready for the big time. And I get nothing here. So you're looking to move on in your career? Yep. Believe it or not, this backwater berg doesn't cut it for me. I'm surprised that the people of this backwater berg haven't seen through the nature of your reporting. You didn't treat us fairly in the articles you wrote. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I change what you said? No, you took what was said out of context. It seemed that way, but trust me, it's not what happened. It's common for subjects to be nervous and forget what they've said. Uh -huh. You can't blame me for that. You'll get better. Anytime you want to practice, let me know. We could talk about Nancy. Right. What do you think of Nancy? On the record or off the record? Just honestly. So off the record then. I think she's in big trouble and way, way out of her depth. And on the record? Well, gosh. She's just another example of what makes this town so special. I officially dislike you. Goodbye. Bye. Also, I really want to snoop through all her stuff. Actually, I want to destroy all of her stuff. That would be amazing. Okay, um... You know what, let me test out my... Oh, wait a minute. Is this something different that we can look at here in this picture compared to what was seen, or... I guess not. 
Crime Week. We like how that's a thing. So, will Lexi have something different to say to us than he said to George? Let's see. Hello. What do you know about Brenda? The reporter? She was in your pestering me earlier today, too. Are you all taking turns or something? Send the next guy in with a sandwich, would you? Okay, okay, man, everyone's so mean around here. What did Brenda ask while she was here? I don't like it when people ask me questions. Right now, you are pestering me with questions about previous questions that I was pestered with earlier. It's just recursive and rude, and now I have a headache. You're not a very chipper person. Why's that? I once was. Really? Oh, yeah. I had a lot of fun in life. I had friends. I met the girl I was going to spend the rest of my life with. Okay, then what happened? What do you care? You some sort of tourist in other people's misery? No! No, it's just this shop is pretty cool. It seems like you'd be happy to run something like this instead of grumpy. Yeah. You'd think that. I was happy, but one time, just once, I tried to speak truth to power. And man, if I didn't pay the price. What does that mean? It means my life has been a cruel joke. Try as you might, it's hard not to let that influence your general mood. What happened to end your career? Well, when you make it your business to tell the truth, you make a lot of people mad. That's what happened to me. I, I was 20. I'd been around the block a few times, been working my own cases for 10 years at that point. I'd seen it all. I'd been kidnapped, knocked out, hexed, cursed, locked up in a trunk. You name it. But I always nabbed the baddies. Always. That is until I turned in J.P. Bennington for cheating his way into City Hall. The Bennington family was very powerful in those days. Still is. In fact, Tony's brother-in-law is a Bennington. Uh-oh. What happened? He accused me of stealing one of his father's priceless antiques, this ancient magnifying glass that was supposedly used in the drafting of the town charter. Supposedly belonged to one of the town's founding fathers. Why didn't you just say you were innocent? Ooh, that's a really good idea. I did. In hundreds of ways, to anyone who would listen. It didn't matter. That's not fair. No, it isn't. My life was just beginning. Then in a blink, I was cut off at the knees. No one trusted me, no more cases. I lost everything. Aww. I wanted to see the world. I was going to. Then, just like that, he took that from me. Now I try to bring a little of the world to me when I can. But look around. This isn't enough. So all this over a magnifying glass? I mean, come on, what about... Okay, okay, this town's priorities are kind of weird. They don't notice that Brenda is just yellow journalism extraordinaire. They don't know that... Uh, I don't know. Th this is weird. <laughs> uh. What happened to Bennington? He slandered me in the press, and people forgot about how crooked he was. He got into City Hall. His career took off, he became a judge, and moved on to the big time. Bye-bye, River Heights. Hmm. Goodbye. Until next time. I wonder where he is now. We haven't even met Tony yet. I mean, we've heard about her. She works at the ice cream shop, but when we tried going there, it was closed. I wonder if we can go there again. Um, where is that? Isn't that somewhere here? Scoop, here you go. Scoop. That's a really original name for an ice cream shop. Oh, hey. Ned! How's it going? So, um, she didn't introduce herself, but this is Deirdre Shannon, who is one of the characters in the Nancy Drew books, and also one of the suspects here in this case. Can you tell me about Alexi? What's everyone's deal with him lately? I don't really know much. Apparently, he was accused of some crime when he was younger. No one really trusts him now. What crime? I really don't know. Probably something creepy. I mean, he does work in an antique shop. What do you think of Brenda? Seeing her makes me want to invest in hair salons and plastic surgery. Yeah. You don't seem like a fan. Oh, I'm a huge fan of the whole Heist 9 news team. When news breaks, who will be boring about it? Ugh, I just sort of hate her. You Why? and me both. She's just always so chipper. I hate it. Write down in your notebook that I hate that. Any other reason? My dad made her hit list a year back. She just makes stuff up. She dresses up and does hidden camera stings in these ridiculous outfits. Hey, 
Didn't she dress up as Nancy once? Oh. I don't know. That's not normal behavior there. Goodbye. See ya. So Deirdre has a crush on Ned, as you can probably tell. She's not a big fan of Nancy. And here's Bess. Any big breaks? I think the characters um, hang out at very specific places, um, if this is any indication. So I guess Bess will always be here if you're not playing as her. But like, if you switch back to her, she'll be back where we last left her. What do you think Brenda is up to? Shh, sorry, can't talk about this now. Suspect is on the move. Wait, false alarm. Suspect is just grabbing a snack. Suspect loves snacking. So wait a minute, are you stalking Deirdre? Like from right here? How's the stakeout? Pretty good, I don't think she's on to me. On a related note, I have no idea what she's doing. Yeah. Want some ice cream? No, eating ice cream is my cover. But she's been here for like 10 decades. I've already had all of the flavors on the menu. If this investigation doesn't stop soon, forget the new sundress I got. I won't be able to fit in my house. Goodbye. Talk to you later. I should go back to eating a lot of ice cream. Swap a lot. What's that? Dr Wait, did I just say? Yeah, Drew Vision. So what does this do? Oh, okay. So this is like that thing in... Uh, uh, what was that game? Um... Oh, there was a game where you had to do something like this. I forgot what it was, though. So this is probably the... Okay, so this is not the... It, it changes when you get it right. So this is I. Good. Uh, this is probably also I. This is two. Suspect. There's probably an achievement you can get for playing this game a bunch. Um, butt? Is this butt, maybe? Yes. But if... The... Uh, person, I suspect. That makes the most sense. I don't know what this is. Um... It can't be... The. Hmm. This is probably also a suspect. There we go. This is is. Him. Then. Oh, wait. Suspect the least. Maybe that's what it is. Suspect the least. Is the person I should suspect the most? I think I get it. Let's see. Should. Whoops. Suspect the most. I'm guessing that's shouldn't, the next word. Shouldn't I. Whoops. Then go back to suspecting him the least. Yeah, Nancy. Alright, so what do we get for that? Nothing. Alright. Cool, cool. Hey, it's Tony. Wow, that is a lot of flavors. Hello. Whoa, you have a low voice. Can I have some ice cream? Sure. So let's see. I kind of want to go for... Berry, oh, that's an ice cream soda. Okay, let's see. Wow, so they have all the, the the candies that were in Trail of the Twister here. Cookie dough, I like cookie dough. Yeah. Mm. That's good. All right, let's go back to talking to her. Hello. Hello. Can you tell me what happened during the fire? It's still an open investigation. I can't give that information out to just anyone. I am a city official, so I have a certain responsibility here. Wow, you're a city official and you run the ice cream shop? Is there anything at all you can tell me about the fire? Obviously, it's a sad moment in the town's history, but the way this community has responded really shows off what's great about this city and this country. What do you know about Nancy Drew's arrest? It's sad for her and for this town. 
A lot of people put their faith and trust in Nancy, and she's really let a lot of people down. But she didn't do anything. It's not up to me to decide that. I just know what I've seen. I know that the police force here doesn't take anything lightly. If they've made a decision, I have to stand by it. Oh, excuse me, I have to go get this delivery. Oh, <gasps> she's leaving. All right, so we can snoop. We can snoop around or not. Hang on, we can go back here though. What's in here? What's in here? Ooh. This is just like what Nancy <gasps> saw at the fire. The snowflake ice things. Uh oh. Why Ooh. would Tony have these? Uh oh. Wow. Wow. Okay. So Tony is looking really suspicious right now. Very, very interesting. So we still can't get in there. I bet we will later, though. Wow. Okay. Well, I think that's all we can do here for now. But man, we are finally getting to meet everyone. Everything is finally rolling along. And I'm going to end this video right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry about the crash issue. Everything should hopefully be back to normal next time. So until then, take care, and I will catch you on the flip side.